Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Hi, welcome back. This is Tony, board certified adult general primary care nurse practitioner. Buttercup, really? You know, you know I'm filming, right? You have to go out. Bye. I'll see you in a few. <laughs> Sit. Good girl. As I was saying, welcome back. If you like what you see, slam that thumbs up button. If you want to share with someone, share. Sharing is caring. And if you enjoy, if you are enjoying the videos, subscribe. Hit the bell icon. Check off all. Make sure you don't miss anything else that comes up. All right. Today, I'm going to share with you a few more things that I have added to my collection of resources, clinical resources, books and books and books galore. I'm a nerd, bona fide, certified. So let's get into it. The first thing I want to share with you is something I got from the APEA website. That is Amelie Hollier's company and website. And it is called the Dermatology Differential Diagnosis Deck. It comes in this lovely little box. And just open up the box, take it out. And it has this little hinge thingy here. And it's a lot of cards. As you can see, pick a card, any card. Pictures on one side, info on the other. And dermatology is something that is probably pretty tricky for many. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with dermatology. I love it because it's interesting and it's intriguing to me because all my life, from as long as I can remember, maybe five, six years old, I've always had skin problems. I have sensitive skin. And my mother has had to, my parents have had to deal with my skin problems for a long time. And then as I grew older, I've had to deal with it as a teenager and as an adult. So I actually, funny story, in nursing school, um, I, during my physical assessment class in nursing school, I went to the doctor and that was my first encounter with a nurse practitioner. And I remember, you know, over the years, up until that point, you go to a doctor, an MD, and they come in the room, maybe five minutes, listen for the stethoscope on your chest, a couple places on your back to listen to your lungs. And that's it. When I went to see this woman. The physical assessment she did on me, I was like, oh my God, I do this in school. I learned this in school like last week. And I mean, it was everything, such a thorough physical assessment. So anyway, the night before, um, I was looking through my physical assessment textbook and all the pictures, trying to figure out what was going on with me because I was having a skin issue. And I looked through the book, looked through the book, looked through the book, and I came up with a diagnosis for myself. And the funny thing is, at that time, I didn't dream of becoming a nurse practitioner. I just want to be a nurse, you know? And I diagnosed myself with a skin condition based on my, you know, digging and investigating and looking at all these pictures. And I came up with something. So I, you know, fast forward, I'm in the visit. This NP is examining me and I'm explaining what's happening with the skin issue I'm having. And she steps out the room for a few minutes, maybe one or two minutes. And she comes back in and she says she just came back from a dermatological conference. And your case looks very similar to pityriasis rosea. And you know that, you know, I don't know if anyone watches Seinfeld out there, but you know how they say, get out, and they push the person. I felt like doing that to her because that's what I diagnosed myself with the night before, pityriasis rosea. And sure enough, that's what she diagnosed me as having. I knew there was no treatment, just comfort measures. And um, I'm like, okay, no problem. I'll just deal with it. 
for you know the next four six weeks however long it takes to get over it and I did it went away but that was just amazing so over the years I've had a couple of skin issues I've been diagnosed with eczema that's the very first thing and then in my preteen um teen years I was diagnosed with seborrheic dermatitis of my scalp so I've been through it deal with it so I do find it intriguing I hate it because there's so many things that can go wrong with the skin so remember the last video I talked about nurse practitioners you know they like to refer to specialists so much but some things you just have to refer to a specialist like if you see a case of I think it's actinic keratosis um, that's usually the precursor to I want to say squamous cell carcinoma but I could be wrong because that was a TQ TQ test question and I remember getting it wrong and going over it with the teacher afterwards in NP schools like yes yes that's actinic keratosis goes with this but anyway back to the matter at hand so this dermatology thing it's interesting because look at all these lovely things that can happen to the skin you know so this deck is the best thing to say is you should have an idea of what you're dealing with and then you could look it up you know it has a table table of contents so to speak as the first you know few cards in the deck and it takes you to the slide number so let's say, oh, and then it has this great list on the back of all the topical corticosteroids from class one to class seven. Of course, as you go up in class, you it, go, it lessens the potency of the steroid. So that's that. So let's say we had an idea of what we were working with. So for example, pitoriasis rosea. So according to this, it's card number 42 so let's go to good old card number 42 pitoriasis rosea and it gives you some pictures so you could you know look at it like yeah that's what my patient looks like they have on the back of the card let's see what it says it gives you a description of the condition history some epidemiology for you some stats and um, how long it takes for this thing to last, physical findings, what you're going to find on physical exam, and the treatment. Now, I know for me, from what I found back then, I was in school in 03 to 05, um, there really is no cure per se. It's um, comfort treatment. You're trying to treat the symptoms, the itchy, itchy you know, you prescribe something for that. So they have some lotion, some sprays for the itching, um, some suntan lotion, you know, to protect you from the sun. Yeah, some erythromycin um, and some steroids. If your topical solutions are not working, you have some um, oral antihistamines that may help as well. And in extreme cases, of course, oral steroids can be prescribed. So that's how you do it. Um, let's look up something else. I don't know. Um, let's see if we can find onychomycosis. Let's see if it's here. Um, fungal infections, tinea of the nails. That sounds like it's 72. So card number 72, do, do, do. all right, oh yeah, <laughs> card number 72, tinea of the snails, oh look at all those lovely pictures, yay, <laughs> so you can look at this like, oh yeah, that's what that patient has, so let's see, and it also has like references to other cards, I don't know if you can see that, so you could go to other cards and see what those cards are about 153 let's see what 153 looks like 153 oh, more fungal nail infections lovely see see yay <laughs> so that's 154a okay i'm having too much fun all right so let's look at the back of the tinea 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 of nails sure enough 
onychomycosis. Okay, and it, like I said, it goes through physical findings. Of course, you have pictures so you can see what you should find on physical exam. Tells you about history. Well, what 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 brought us to this point? And of course, the treatment. Okay, so this is a pretty good tool to use if you know you came home from work or you came home from clinical and you're like, what was that thing? Look it up in the dermatology deck and you could find out more about it, okay? Next dermatology reference tool is the Fitzpatrick's Color Atlas and Synopsis of Clinical Dermatology. All right, I found out about this book through Nurse Liz while I was in NP school and added it to my Amazon wish list until eventually I purchased it. So I didn't get to use it a lot in school because school is a busy time, but I knew it was on my bookshelf. So whenever I needed to look up something, I knew it was there to help me. So this is similar to the dermatology differential diagnosis deck. Um, it gives you a bit more information, some more lovely pictures, all right? Hope you didn't, you're not eating, but um, yeah, lovely pictures, more information, um, epidemiology, pathogenesis, clinical manifestation, um, the sites of where certain things are prone to show up on the body, Lab exams, you know, if you if it makes sense to draw a lab, depending on what skin condition and the course and prognosis of the skin condition. So another great book, another great resource to use in your quest to learn more about dermatology as a primary care nurse practitioner. All right. I will leave links to both of these resources in the description, and I hope that you don't turn into a book nerd like me, and part of me hopes you do, because learning is fun, and I enjoy learning and enjoy having resources available to teach me about how to care for my patients and how to better care for my patients, and my I strive to be the nurse practitioner who is not quick to refer. But if, when it comes to dermatology, let me tell you. <laughs> simple eczema, simple onychomycosis, you should be able to handle in primary care. But there are certain things that, um, I know there was one condition that I came across in clinicals where the patient came in with black lines running, um, I guess, parallel, you know, running down the length of his nails and he denied trauma he denied anything his um labs look fine so when i looked it up you know before the doctor went in after me to check my work and all of that i looked up the only thing i could find is it could be indicative of a melanoma so we go in the room me and the doctor and the doctor is like i don't know what this is that's not his wheelhouse. He's not a dermatologist. So he referred to dermatology. And honestly, if it is an indicator of possible melanoma, he needs to go to a dermatologist to have that confirmed, you know, and the dermatologist can lead him in the right direction. So like I said, there are some dermatological conditions that need to be referred to dermatology. Primary care cannot fix it. So, and a lot of skin blemishes, skin lesions that may show up could be a precursor to certain skin cancers. So it's important to know when to refer. No, it's good to know what you don't know and what you know, know what you don't know and all that good stuff. So all that. So check it out. Color Atlas and Dermatology Differential Deck, Differential Diagnosis Deck. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're having a great week. Have a great week to come. Hope you had a great week last week and I'm glad to see you here again. Once again, hit the thumbs up button if you like this. 
share it with someone you think can find it useful and subscribe and come back again for more videos. Make sure you hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. All right. Thank you. And I love you. Stay blessed. Have a wonderful day. Bye.